Entity Relationship Model. The Entity Relationship, or ER Data Model, allows us to describe the data involved in a real-world enterprise in terms of objects and their relationships, and is widely used to develop an initial database design. Now here we'll see in detail about ER Data Model. The ER model is important primarily for its role in database design. It provides useful concepts that allow us to move from an informal description of what users want from their database to a more detailed and precise description that can be implemented in a DBMS. Now generally, the database design process can be divided into six steps. and They are 1. Requirement Analysis This is the very first step in designing a database. In this step, we have to analyze what data is to be stored in the database, what applications must be built on top of it, and what operations are most frequent and subject to performance requirements. In other words, we must find out what the users want from the database. Conceptual Database Design The information gathered in the requirements analysis step is used to develop a high-level description of the data to be stored in the database, along with the constraints that are known to hold over this data. Logical database design. Here we must choose a DBMS to implement our database design and convert the conceptual database design into a database schema in the data model of the chosen DBMS. We will only consider relational DBMSs and therefore the task in the logical design step is to convert an ER schema into a relational database schema. Schema refinement. The fourth step in database design is to analyze the collection of relationships in our relational database schema to identify potential problems. In contrast to the requirements analysis and conceptual design steps, which are essentially subjective, schema refinement can be guided by some elegant and powerful theory. Physical database design. In this step, we must consider typical expected workloads that our database must support and further reference the database design to ensure that it meets desired performance criteria. Now this step may simply involve building indexes on some tables and clustering some tables, or it may involve a substantial redesign of parts of the database schema obtained from the earlier design steps. And then finally, security design. In this step, we identify different user groups and different roles played by various users, for example, the development team for a product the customer support representatives, and the project manager. For each role and user group, we must identify the parts of the database that they must be able to access, and the parts of the database that they should not be allowed to access, and take steps to ensure that they can only access their necessary parts. Therefore, I hope that you've got an idea about an ER model. Now, we'll see each of these steps in the upcoming lessons.